Hello, lovely people of the world. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Anong asa yung araw? Ahlen sa ahlen. This is Justin and Sarah. And in today's video, we'll talk about week 25, 26, and 27 pregnancy update. Whew! I know, we had to catch up, you guys. Sorry. How far along am I? So, today is October 18, 2018, which marks the last day of my 27 week period. So, I would say today, um, Baby Park is 27 weeks along. So, yay! Tomorrow is the first day of my third trimester. Oh my god, you guys. Ooh, made it. <laughs> Just the third trimester. I'm like, made it. Baby's still in here, not out there. So that's good. <laughs> Next question. Symptoms. Not much difference when it comes to symptoms except, you know, like the usual uh, burpy throat. I, will, I would call it indigestion. Um, another symptom that I've had is shortness of breath. Even just talking, just carrying a conversation with coworkers or friends. I find myself needing to take breaks and taking a deep breath to catch my breath. No labor pains. <laughs> I mean, no labor-like pain, full contraction. So that's good. Around week 27 is when I noticed that I'm unable to see my pubic region. Oh my god, <laughs> our viewers are going to go like, OMG Sarah, TMI, TMI, TMI. Yes, TMI you guys. Every time people talk about pregnancy, expect TMI. So anywho, um, yes, I'm unable to officially see my pubic region as of this week. So that's fun. I was like, honey, does it look like everything down there? <laughs> It's like, don't worry, it looks the same. I'm like, okay, just making sure because I can't see it anymore. Still intact. I don't know if you call it a symptom, but I've been struggling to put on my stockings. Compression stockings, that is, because I generally wear compression stockings, which Justin had bought for me, um, not just during pregnancy, even before then, daily for work. I make sure to wear those because I have a family history, mom's side, of varicose veins, um, the legs especially. So I was like, oh my god, I don't want to develop varicose veins, but if I can prevent it this early on, might as well. I found myself struggling to put on my compression socks or stockings. And Pumpkin here had to help me out because the belly just gets in the way, y'all. Yes, she's just in the way there, so I'm like, I can only reach so far. <laughs> Eventually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to ask him to clip my toenails. <laughs> okay, so my baby bump feels really, really round, like, like a basketball. Not just round, but hard, like a basketball. I don't know if you guys could see. It's huge! Hello? <laughs> Anybody there? You need to speak up. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> That's what my bump looks like. Isn't that lovely? Yes. Hope I still look sexy, y'all. I honestly feel sexy or pregnant. Does that make any sense? Another major symptom that we experienced, that I experienced, I guess, is that, oh, TMI. <laughs> I'm warning you now, TMI. It's all about these two girls. I was watching a 27-week update by one of the lovely YouTubers out there, and then she mentioned that it's common for women to see signs of colostrum being expressed through the nipples, which is like the early first signs of milk production. They call it colostrum. So I was like, yeah, right. There's no way. So I kind of started toying around, <laughs> just squeezing the nipple area. And then I was shocked to see a few drops of like clear fluid come out. Actually, it wasn't just grease that you didn't want. Honey, no, nothing comes out of nipples. Come on, you know that. I'm not talking gushes, like little drops of clear fluid. So that was one nipple, my left one. When I moved on to my right one, I'm like, is there anything coming out of this? I saw a single, like a single drop of off-white or cream fluid come out. I was like, huh? Ah, freaked out, y'all. I was like, I can't. Like it hasn't dawned on me that I would be breastfeeding one day. And it's like, when I saw that, I was like, oh my God. Can you imagine, honey? It's like, for example, your elbow doesn't usually express fluid. And then you squeeze your elbow and all of a sudden you're like, what's that? <laughs> Grease. <laughs> All right, next question, total weight gain. I would just like to keep this as a record for 
myself and for him as well for future references you know it's not just for you guys it's for us too at week 25 i tipped the scales at 125.8 pounds which is a weekly gain of 2.4 pounds uh, and a total weight gain throughout my pregnancy of 13.8 pounds. As of week 26, I tipped the scales at 127.2 pounds, which is a weekly weight gain of, of 1.4 from the previous week, and a total weight gain all throughout my pregnancy of 15.2 pounds. And finally, for week 27, which is my most recent, I tipped the scales at 131.2. I was like, ugh, I'm already in the 30s. Um, which is a weekly weight gain of 4 pounds and a total pregnancy weight gain of 19.2 pounds. Crap. Yeah, see when I put the numbers together, it's like that's a lot of gain. But it's all good. It's all worth it. It's all oh, yeah. right here. <laughs> and maybe a little bit here. Guess, guys, I got boobies now. Next question. Stretch marks? No. No stretch marks so far. But... I gotta be really, really honest with you guys. Um, I haven't been, I've been really, really lazy when it comes to lavishing my belly bump with cream, oil, butter, <laughs> you name it, moisturizers in general. But I just got lazy and I was like, ugh, it's too much work, I'm too exhausted, I'm just gonna go straight to bed. I don't wanna bug Justin with that kind of stuff, you know? He's like, you would know if you need the belly butter thing and you would know to call me if you need help. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm not gonna bug him with that, okay? He's got his own stuff to do too. Justin has a life too outside of baby. Like editing this video. <laughs> exactly. Next question. How am I sleeping? So far so good. I mean, I found myself waking up once or twice in the middle of the night just to pee, but I don't have trouble going back to sleep. Next, um, highlight for this week. Okay. My highlight for week 25, nothing much there. Um, except for the fact that, you know, no more labor pain, so yay! No more contractions, so yay! Um, my highlight for week 26, though, is glucose screen. Yes, finally. The day that I was dreading <laughs> had finally arrived. So, I went in there on time. Oh my goodness, you have no idea the hassle before that, though. Because I went, I had to work that day till 3. Um, by the time I got home, it was 3.30. I was not planning to go home first and then head out to the lab. But Justin here texted me and went like, Our night tables arrived. <laughs> they left it at the front door. Can you please go home really quick and just bring them in so that nobody tries to steal them. Porch pirates. No, porch pirates try to take him home with them. So I left work at 3 sharp. I was like, I'm going to make this. But then, you know, traffic and all. Got home at 3.30. I was like, I have only 10 minutes to get to the lab, which is, by the way, 10 minutes away from home. So I should have left a minute ago or two minutes ago. But anyway, I was able to get home on time. But then I realized the night table that was disassembled were in two boxes that were quite heavy. So I'm like, well, honey, this is going to be easy. I thought it was just open the door, <laughs> shove the boxes in, <laughs> shut the door, lock it. But I was like, open the door, can't lift them. Ugh. So I had to sort of do a bit of a, to rotate the boxes one by one until they made it through the front door. And I'm like, there. And then the cats were all over them and I'm like, have fun kitties. And so I closed the door, locked it. Finally made my drive to the lab and I made it just in time. I literally arrived through the doors of the lab at 3.40. Mind you, there was a lineup. So there were like four or five people ahead of me because this is like check-in. So people are checking in, whatever. I checked in and I was like, hi, I'm here for a glucose screen. I believe my OB had faxed over the lab requisitions for this test. And then they were looking through him and then she was like, oh, okay then, yeah, I see them. So when was the last time you had a meal? Ugh, I have to say this just to make it clear so that I can document and remember this for the future, but this is what I did. So my last meal was actually lunch. It's not a fasting blood sugar kind of test. so. Um, I tried to trick the system. I'm like, I don't want to fail this. So I got this. I had lunch and made sure I finished eating it at 12.40 p.m. And I made sure I ate nothing. So from 1 o'clock to 3.40, I made sure I ate nothing. Just water. And I drank a whole bottle of this. Just water. So I kind of cheated. But anyway, at 3 o'clock, I made sure I downed this entire thing. <laughs> 
on my drive to the lab and all that jazz. So I finally drank it all. And I'm like, hmm, I can totally dodge this bullet and pass the first screen. Wish me luck, right? So I was like, okay, cool. So I got in there, my bladder is kind of slightly full, but I'm like, I can hold it. And then the lady is like, are you aware that I'm gonna give you a sugary drink and you're not allowed to leave the lab? So I need you to understand you're gonna be sitting in the waiting area for, for an hour and then we're gonna check your blood. And I was like, yeah, I'm ready for that. Thank you for the heads up. She's like, so if you need to leave the lab, you need you need to go now. I'm like, um, I'm, I don't need to leave. She's like, okay, awesome. All right then. Um, I need you to take your first sip now so we could time you. So she gave me the drink. She's like, I prepared it. It's nice and cold for you. And she poured it into a cup. And I'm like, thank you. And mind you guys, in my head, I was like, expect it not to be so good, expect it not to taste so well, because I'll, I don't know, there's a lot of people in, around me, a lot of people on YouTube and stuff that said that uh, the drink is really nasty and gross and that a lot of people actually puked afterwards or could not down it. But when I asked my sister, she was like, oh, it tastes just like the typical orange drink that we used to drink um, when we were kids and we used to bring it to school um, for lunch. So I was like, oh, so it's not so bad then. She's like, no, especially if it's refrigerated, it'll taste great. Just don't listen to other people. That's what my sister told me. So I was like, okay, expect the worst, but hope for the best. I took my first sip. She timed me. The lab technician timed me. And then I was like, actually, it's not so bad. She's like, right? A lot of people say that it's really gross and tastes terrible, but it's not that bad. I'm like, yeah, it tastes just like orange, like orange soda, but less carbonated. In fact, no carbonation whatsoever. So she was like, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad you like it. So um, you may go ahead and drink it all. And I went like, do you want me to down? The like, it's a big cup, y'all. Not this big. I was like, do you want me to down the whole thing right now? <laughs> she was like, no, no. Have a seat um, and we will call you when, you, when it's time for your blood work in about an hour. Um, you are allowed to drink it in five to 10 minutes. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like finish it all within five to 10 minutes. I was like, okay, cool. I took a seat and then I drank it and I looked at the time and I was waiting but by the way when they took me and it was already 350 so I had my piece of paper that was reminding me if my name was not called within an hour that I go back to the reception area and let them know that it's time for my blood work so I sat there and I was doing fine by 10 minutes after 4 so 20 minutes later after drinking that sugary drink I was like my bladder oh no <laughs> I feel like going. I was like, oh no, this is not good. And it hit me. I was like, actually, I haven't used a washroom since I drank this whole bottle of water here. And I wasn't sure if I was allowed to. Mind you, part of my glucose screen for that day was a urine test. So I was wondering, I was like, why can't they, didn't, shouldn't they have checked my urine before? Or I guess they want to check it after the drink. So I told myself, you know what, I'm going to hold it in as long as I can and then I'm going to go back there and I'll say, sorry guys, can't hold it in any longer, can I just give you my urine sample now because I'm about to burst or my bladder is about to burst. So I just waited there and waited there and then a few people went by, checked in and whatever. I noticed two other pregnant women that went past me that appeared to have arrived or showed up for the same test because one of them I overheard so nosy such an eavesdropper one of them I overheard she was like how far along are you and then she's like 26 weeks so I'm like oh, I'm 26 weeks too maybe I should go say hi but anywho nah, I'm not gonna bug people so yeah she's like 26 weeks okay here's a sugary drink so by the way this is a different lab technician that spoke to, that checked in this other pregnant woman and she was like but first here's a cup that um, if you can please give us a urine sample before we give you the sugary drink and then you come back to us and we'll give you the drink and you wait an hour. And when I heard that, I was like, wait, what? So you're saying I could have peed before the drink? It's like already 30 minutes in. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hold it in as long as I could. So that way, in my mind, I was doing math. I was like, you know the whole bottle of water that I was drinking? Maybe if I drank, because the sugary drink was in a small bottle or small cup, I was like, maybe... It will help, the water that I drank will help dilute the sugary drink. So I'm just going to hold it in. When 4.30 came along, I just couldn't help it anymore. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stand up for my right. <laughs> my bladder is going to burst. I'm by myself. If I wet myself here, 
it's going to be the most embarrassing thing and I'm going to have to call hubby and say, honey, I'm sorry, I need a pair of pants because, <laughs> you know, so I was like, ugh, darn it. So I went back in line. I waited for the line to get shorter. That's why it took me that long. Uh, finally got back in line and I told the reception, listen, I have a piece of paper that says I need to come back to you guys if my name's not called by 450, but I really need to use the washroom. Am I allowed to use the washroom? I believe you need a urine sample from me anyway. And she's like, oh yeah, okay, so here's the cup, go ahead. I'm like, what the fudge? Are you kidding me right now? Are you saying that had I come sooner? Ugh. No, I think they were not expecting you to down an entire bottle of water before coming in for appointment. So they thought they need to give you some time for the, the sugar drink that you just drank mm -hmm. to work its way down for you to give urine sample. Okay, maybe that's possible. So she gave me the cup. She labeled it 1636, which is like 436, saying that uh, by the time you pee, it would be 436 p.m., so go right ahead. So I ran to the toilet, which is within the lab, by the way, you guys, so I didn't leave the lab premises. It felt like Niagara Falls just came out of me. I was like, <laughs> she... I was like, ugh, garden notes. But yeah, so happy. I was so relieved. Collected a midstream urine in that cup, placed it in a metal box in the washer, washed my hands, whatever. Came back out and I'm like, oh my god, I was so relieved. I smiled on my way out of the washer. I was like, so I sat down, I waited. And I think 10 minutes later, there was an alarm that I heard, like a ringing sound. So I was like, hmm, that's probably for me, but I'll wait until they call my name. Then they're like, um, Sarah Park. I was like, oh, that's me. I was like, all right, um, room, whatnot. And then I went into the room and surprisingly, lab technician lady that took my blood sample the very first time I had my blood work done. Maybe when I was 12 weeks along, it was there. Oh my goodness, you again. And she's like, I remember you have a seat. Oh my goodness, where how have you been? Wow, you're really showing now. I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, she, yeah. She was trying, I think she was doing her job so well that she was trying to distract me. I guess she was assuming that I'd be one of those people who are scared of needles. So, she was like, you know, what are your favorite breakfast places? And I told her, oh, I love breakfast. Um, she's like, have you tried this place? How about this place? How about this place? Within Calgary. So, I was like, oh my god, I haven't been to any of the ones she highly recommended. So, I'm like, oh, that's something I'm going to bring up to my hubby with my arm out like this, my left arm. So, I was like... Yeah, maybe I should bring that up. That is so interesting. And then I looked <laughs> right before she put the needle in. I was like, <laughs> I looked right at her. <laughs> I was not going to get distracted. I'm not going to allow it. I'm like, no. It actually helps me, you guys. It helps me more if I get to see the needle go into my skin because I'm not very good at surprises. You know, like if I look away and then I feel a sudden pinch, I'd probably be more startled than if I were to look and anticipate exactly when the needle would enter my skin. So I just looked and looked, oh, there it is. Just a slight pinch. She is so efficient, you guys. She was like in, out, done, covered, plastered, and she's like, you're good to go. I was like, oh my goodness, you're so good. I hope I get to see you if I ever fail this test. I hope I get to see you. She's like, oh, don't you worry. Um, she's like, you'll be fine. I'm like, okay. She's like, well, it's great to see you. I'm like, great to see you too. Out of there, and I was like, I get to go home! Of course I was so damn nervous. I'm like, I hope it worked. Drinking a whole bottle, like a bigger bottle of water, and then letting it dilute the sugary drink hopefully worked, right? No, it didn't work. The next day, I got a call <laughs> from my maternity clinic, well, a doctor's office, and she was like, yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, but you did not pass the glucose screen, so we're gonna need you to book the second test, which is the glucose test, where you, we need you to be fasting at least eight hours prior. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, what was my score? How bad was it? She's like, well, the passing score for your blood sugar level should have been 7.7 .7 or less, and you tested at 8.4. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm so close. The good news is my urine sample came back negative for any infection. So yeah, I told my sister, I was like, oh my god, I failed the glucose screen. She's like, don't worry, we all fail the glucose screen. Like, when she says we, she's talking about um, herself, our friends who got pregnant and gave birth recently as well, a girlfriend. She's like, it's a Filipino thing, don't worry. <laughs> it's in our blood to fail these things. I'm like, oh, okay then.
so I felt a little bit relieved but still terrified I was like oh my goodness now I have to book my glucose test for week 27 the following week which is this week which was yesterday you guys I had my glucose test yesterday if you think I'm smiling because I know I passed it that's not it I didn't get the results yet okay guys but I'm gonna talk to you about what happened on Monday I had phoned Calgary Lab Services and asked them if I, we could book this test for Wednesday and it just so happened hey guess what we have a spot in the morning for Wednesday so I was like yay book me in and he's like um I gotta warn you the guy on the phone was like I gotta warn you we're gonna need you to be in the lab for about three hours you need to be fasting prior to that at least eight hours you'll get a sugary drink and you'll get blood tested every hour two or three times depending on the result I'm like yeah I'm ready for that he's like okay cool so I'm gonna book you in for that so I fasted. The last thing I ate was Doritos chips. <laughs> Past midnight and I'm like, okay, maybe just a few bites of the Doritos chips. So I had a few bites of Doritos chips. I mean, my appointment's at nine anyway. If you count eight hours, eight hours prior to that, 1 a.m. would be it. So I'm like, 1 a.m., no more. I think it was about one anyway. Slept. And then I woke up and it took just sips of water to get me by. This time I didn't cheat. I didn't drink like a whole bottle of water. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna do that. I was like, you know what, if I t test positive for gestational diabetes, so be it in my best interest anyway to not cheat the system. That way we can make sure that the care for our baby park is accurate and efficient. Um, showed up to my appointment. I just made it actually again. <laughs> I'm so bad. By the way, there's a sign that says staff in training. So I'm like, okay, so this is going to take a little longer because the line was very, very long, mind you, prior to that. But by the time it was my turn, she was like, Oh, you know what? There's a problem with your booking. And I went like, hmm? Problem? What problem? I swear to goodness. My pregnancy senses went like tingling. I went like, like the horns are coming out. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I'm hormonal. I'm pregnant. You know, like, what do you mean I have a problem with my booking? No, I was nice. I was like, what problem? What problem? I don't know. She said, so you were booked for the wrong test. I was like, hmm? Okay, mind you. First of all, I'm pregnant. I didn't tell her this, by the way, this is what's going through my head. First of all, I'm pregnant. Second of all, I'm hormonal. Third of all, I'm hungry, okay? Fourth of all, I'm thirsty. Are you saying that I came today, made all this effort, and you're not gonna take me in for the proper test? So I'm like, so what do you mean it's the wrong test? I'm here for my glucose test, which is the second test if you don't pass a glucose screen. And I was like, fight, I'm gonna start. Honey, I'm gonna, honey? <laughs> Hold me back, honey. But anyhow. <laughs> I was like, are you? I'm gonna ring my husband now real quick. But anywho, she was like, no, no, um, I'm just gonna ask someone for help. Hang on. And she was asking someone and then someone was like, you know, maybe we could fix it in the system. I'm overhearing everything in my head. I'm like, yeah, you guys better fix it in the system because it's not my fault. If someone from your lab messed up my appointment. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Hormones. I don't know what it is, but I'm just so easily annoyed, <laughs> you know, it's so hormonal. I'm like, don't mess with me. But anywho, I was like trying to be as patient as possible, you know, composure. I was just like, I'm gonna let them do their work. And then eventually they're like, oh, don't worry, we will squeeze you in into our schedule. I just did not like that wording. I was like, squeeze me in. I have booked this appointment properly. You guys messed up. Don't talk to me about squeezing me in. You should have had me in in the first place. But no, I didn't start. I didn't start. It was nice. So I was like, not good for baby. I'm going to be relaxed and calm and stress-free and happy. Because if I like lose my temper right now, <laughs> poor baby is going to get all the stress hormones. So I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Apparently they said they're going to draw blood from me, my fasting blood sugar first. And then they're going to give me the sugary drink. So I'm like, oh great, I'm going to get poked. Lovely. So I took a seat. They called me in, and then she drew my blood. I was like, she's like, where do you want me to draw? I'm like, left. I'm like, is it okay though, because they drew blood from this arm last week for my glucose screen? And she's like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just find a different blood vessel. I planned it this way, you guys, because I'm right-handed. I figured since they're going to poke me three times, if I start with my left, it would be one, two, three. Get it? Only once will they poke my right hand which I need the most. So. It's the same woman that, that checked me in that was staff in training. So apparently she's really good at drawing blood. It's just her first time or she's training to work at the, the reception area. 
she left. She said, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to quickly, you know, take this blood sample and put it in the right place. And then she came back and she was like, okay, good news. They needed a fasting blood sugar of five point something or lower in order for me to pass. And I scored at 4.8. So yay! It's just like, that's a good start. I'm going to give you the sugary drink. I'm going to need you to take a few sips now so I can start timing you for an hour. And you'll be back in an hour. We will draw your blood. We will call your name. I was happy with 4.8. I'm like, that is such a good number. And then I went into the waiting area. I got this, honey. I can keep myself busy for three hours. Thankfully, I had my tablet. I had a word game called Wordscapes on it. Not sponsored, you guys. I'm just letting you know <laughs> I enjoy word games. I was enjoying that. And surprisingly, it actually helped me kill time. I just waited. An hour later, um, they called my name again. So I went in there. This is the second blood draw of that day. This person, holy mackerel, she was rough. This is a different lab technician this time around. So she used an alcohol swab to disinfect my skin here. And then she just, bam, like a dart. Bam, she put the needle in. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was like, what the, why is she so mad? Like, it's not like I was gonna run away or like, okay, better hurry before I did that. You know, she felt like she was playing darts on my arm. So she went, bam, and then bam, <laughs> bam. And I was like, oh, you're fast. She's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> she thought it was a compliment. I was like, have you seen the look on my face as I said that? <laughs> I was like, oh, you're, you're fast. <laughs> so anyhow let that one go. I sat again in the waiting area for another hour and then the final lab technician is somebody else altogether. So I had three different lab technicians. I'm like, please, <laughs> one was so gentle, the other one was rough. Which one are you going to be? Goldilocks. Goldilocks, just right, right? She actually went fine. She went fine. But for some reason, I felt the pain in this one. I was like, hmm, maybe because it's been overused already. I don't know, but she didn't talk much. She was more of a gesture kind of girl. She drew the needle out because she collected enough blood and her other hand had a cotton ball on my arm. She grabbed my other arm, <laughs> show me. She grabbed my other arm and she left it like this. So I went like, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> I wasn't sure. You want me to fan this? Like, what, what do you want me to do? Because <laughs> she was already holding on to it and she was like, you hold, you press. I'm like, oh, okay. So she wanted me to take over and press on the cotton ball. Damn, woman, talk to me. I'm not gonna bite. <laughs> so yeah, I finally walked out of there. I was like, I'm done. That was my highlight for this week. So next question, um, any vivid dreams? Nope, no vivid dreams. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming, but none that stick around long enough to make an impression. Next, any food cravings or aversions, as I had mentioned, I might have developed a slight aversion to beef. Cravings, as you guys know, sweets, but I'm toning it down because I wanted to pass, especially this week and the week before. Just to pass the glucose test, I was like, I'm going to tone things down. Um, anything making me queasy or sick? No, nope, nothing at all. Um, are my wedding rings on or off? Still on. Happy or moody most of the time? Moody. I mean, y'all saw my thought processes that were going through my head when I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you messed up my booking? Do you know what I mean? But I'm looking forward to tomorrow because tomorrow would be the first day of our final stretch, which is the last trimester because baby park would be 28 weeks along tomorrow. Yay! That. Oh, and, and, and. I'm also looking forward to my next OB appointment. Mind you, it was scheduled for monthly. Uh, last time she saw me, I was in like severe labor-like pain. So my next appointment will be next Wednesday, next week. So I'm excited. Can't wait to hear. Um, if I hear from the lab tomorrow or from the doctor's office, then that means most likely I failed this glucose test. But I'm already anticipating that I've failed it because I'm like, yeah, no, they always find a trace of glucose in my urine every single time in the past, so especially during pregnancy. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fail this one, but it's all good. You know what? There, I'm sure there are worse things to worry about. So yeah, I'm anticipating a call from my doctor's office tomorrow. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks you guys for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. 
Love you guys. Love you and thanks to all you guys um, for all your support and for all your advice and all the love. We, we really enjoy going through the comments. Um, we love you guys and hope you continue to support us and love us. Really sorry if these videos are late. I know you guys are like, oh my goodness, why is this like a month late or whatnot. We're really, really sorry. Just, you know, we both work full time and I'm not going to make excuses, but thank you so much for bearing with us. We really, really appreciate it. So, love you. Bye.